Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. Hey guys, how are you? How you been? Anywho, this nail set is super late, but it's here. And I wanted to bring it to y'all. So please, 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 please don't be mad at me. I, I just don't know what to do. I don't be having the time, but I'm starting to make the time so that I can be more available to do these things. Anywho, um, so as you can see, I'm digging through my tip box right now so I can put the tips on these dang on fingernails. But guess what? My tip box got mixed up. So none of the tips is where they're supposed to be. Or they just like, it'll be multiple numbers in one dang on little uh, area. And I'm like, what the heck? Because ain't nobody got time for that. Just wasting time. Like, this is wasting time. Oop, I dropped something. Oop, oop. I dropped something. Yes, I'm bald head. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. Bald head. Bald head, bald head, bald head. And it's okay. I ain't tripping about it. Don't you trip about it either. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, we're going to place all the tips down. We're going to add a little extra security on top. The glue that I'm using is KDS Nail Glue. I hope I only show one hand tip and one hand because, girl, as long as I just took, that was way too much. It's still going, y'all. Like, I'm still putting on tips. That's wild. That's wild to me. That's super wild to me. It's two minutes in a video. Also, I have ADHD, so that kind of adds into the whole why is it taking so long. But, yeah. um, So, we put the tips on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Make sure your tips are fitting sidewall to sidewall. Sidewall to sidewall, baby. Sidewall to sidewall, okay? Okay. Sometimes the sides don't stick. Guess what? Hold them down a little bit. They will stick. Okay. So next we finna cut them up. Doop. 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 Mm-hmm. We gonna line them up, line them up. Because she didn't want... She wanted long, but not long, long. Which is crazy to me because we be doing long nails on her nails typically. The file that I'm using is an 88 grit file. I remember that I like to cut off a little access on these tips. So that's what I did. And then I came back. Now let's file them and get them straight. Because I'm into the straight tip look, but I'm not into the deep C curve look. So that's why I cut off some of the edge. Right now, I am blending in the tip with the natural nail. Sorry, we cut off just a little bit. We're going to be back in frame. I swear to God, we're going to be back in frame. Just give it a moment, give it a moment, and we'll be back. Uh, the hand file I got from Tulip, the nail tips. I don't know where I got them nail tips from. It might have been Amazon. Then again, it might have been Tulip Deals. Then again, it might have been some other nail site. I couldn't, uh, what's that nail site called? Nail, nail Fuel? I think it's called Nail Fuel. I don't know. Every time I see anything that say fuel, I be thinking of Goop, Gmail, and Lafleur. And I don't know why, but I just do. So, yeah. Right now, we, uh. Lining them up, lining them up. These tips are already tapered in to coffins, so we ain't have to do too much. Like, it's like a, it's almost coffin, not coffin, almost, but almost, almost. You know what I'm saying? It's enough for me not to have to do too much shaping. And she didn't really want coffin. She kind of wanted a taper square look, so that's exactly why we're keeping that uh, in that realm right now. There we go. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Yes, Lord. Clean it up, clean it up. Make sure them nails is crispy. You heard me? We're going to knock off the shine, off the tips. Knock the shine off the tips. Yes, ma'am. And the reason I do this is because when the acrylic is coming down the nail, because, you know, you keep your client's hand in a downward position, it, it adheres to the actual tip. And it doesn't just slide down. Because sometimes, you know, Acrylic can be loose and it will slide down, but when the natural, I mean, when the tip has a, a little gritty texture to it, it can actually not slide down as fast and I can keep most of the acrylic on the tip. Dust your clients off. 
I don't know how to say that. I hate getting my nails done and my nails not dust off. Like, dust me off, baby. I don't like that. So, right now, we are dehydrating the nails. We're using nail. No, we're using me a secret. Nail dehydrated. That's what we're using. See, usually, you know, I cut this out. Like, all my little mistakes, I cut that out. I ain't cut down nothing today, baby. We're getting straight to it. Straight through it. You feel me? You dig? You dig what I'm talking about? You dig what I'm talking about? All right. And I would have sped this video up a little bit more, but I didn't. So, yeah, here we are. Dehydrating the nails. Mm-hmm. Show sure is. Oh, my computer got a little something on the video. I thought that was on the video. We are um, priming the nails using No Lift Nail Primer. This is my favorite primer. I ain't, I ain't switching up. I like this primer. I like it, I like it, I like it. Ain't nothing for me to say about it. It stank though. That thing do stank now. And I make sure I keep it directly on just the nail. I don't be trying to put this on nobody's skin, honey. Because the bottle say, don't put it on nobody's skin. I'm just letting you know what the bottle say. So yeah, we are uh, prominent nails. I'm sorry I even kept both hands in, but when you edit it, these, edit, uh, these edits, these videos are pre-edited and then I transfer them to my computer and then I do my voiceover. So I edit this video when I first made it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even know what, uh, what I'm looking at. I'm looking at it with you, okay? Right now we are putting a thin layer of clear using Mia Secrets Clear and Mia Secret Monomer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this is not no thin layer of clear, Portia. This is not no thin layer of clear. That is not thin. That is thick. Mm -hmm. uh, this nail set is going to be kind of like Valentine's Day inspired because that's how old the video is. But we're not going to. Please don't get on my case. Please don't get on my case. Okay? Appreciate you. Love you. And I'm not even going to uh, title this nothing about Valentine's Day. I ain't gonna do that. I'm just tell you glitter French. Cause that's what it's gonna be. A glitter French set. You feel me? You dig? You know what I'm talking about? Alright. Like I said, thin layer clear on all the nails. I'm gonna come back when it's done though. Okay, that was not long at all. I'm back just like that. Okay, so this is gonna be a white nail with a pink French, glitter French. So yeah, um, the color that I'm using is from Nail, nope, Glam and Glitz. It's from Glam and Glitz, it's a glow in the dark powder. I don't know which number it is or anything. It looks like the milky one, but it also looks like not the milky one, but I think it is the milky one. And the milky one is called There She Glows. Um, I've purchased this from the actual Glam and Glitz site, and I've also purchased this from Nail Supply Glamour. It's my favorite white, so yeah. Uh, tame the top, tame the top, baby, tame the top. Make sure you keep the acrylic on the nail. Pick it up, pick it up, and put it back on there. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Mm-hmm. Nail need to be going downward. Pat it in, pat it in, keep the shape, keep the shape. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Yep, just like that. Uh-huh. Just like that, just like that, just like that, baby. I told myself I was going to do my nails today, but I think I'm going to have to do them in the morning. Because, yeah. Yep, there we go. Cuticle, cuticle bead, cuticle bead. Uh, slide it on up, slide it up. what I say? You can, you can do what? With the, with the brush, you can seal the cuticle with the brush. Just take your time. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. There we go. Keep the shape, pat it in, pat it in. Clean it up. Sorry, my head in the way. The brush that I'm using is from IGL Beauty. They have the best brushes, but they are always freaking sold out. Like, that is so crazy. It makes me want to check their site, like, every day. Because when y'all gonna get these brushes back? Something was missing on the side, so we're going to do put some in there, and we're going to fix it. The cleanup. That's a cleanup bead. That's what you call it, a cleanup bead. And you know how you know if you need to clean something up? is because you're moving your nail from side to side, 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 okay? All right. Drain them beads. 
this is a glow in the dark powder so it tends to be a little bit runny so i need to drain them beads mm -hmm. pat the sides pat the sides bring it down pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up Tain the top tain the top bring it on down bring it on down bring it on down recycle the bead if you can bring it on down bring it on down hit them sides hit them sides I'm sorry, I got quiet. Clean it up, clean it up. Keep the shape, keep the shape. Pat the sides, clean it up. Mm-hmm. Next bead. For the next bead. Yep, right there. Tain the top, tain the top, tain the top, tain the top. Finger going downward, finger going downward. Pick it up, pick it up. Mm-hmm. Yep, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, so the reason I'm saying pick up the bead is because when uh, the acrylic runs off on the side, that's how your nail starts to look bulky. So when I'm saying picking up, I'm saying more so push the acrylic towards the center of the nail. Therefore, it has more strength in the nail. Because you don't need strength on the side of the nail. You don't even need that. But you do need acrylic on the side, but just not a whole bunch of bulkiness on the side. You don't need that because that's going to give you more shape in the do. We don't need all that. But we do need acrylic towards the center of the nail because that's where it gets its strength. Not just the apex. Not just the apex, okay? Okay. Just as long as we're on the same page. Drain it, drain it, drain it. Place it up there. Move it up, move it up. Seal the cuticle. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Tain the top, tain the top. Seal it, seal it. Mm-hmm. Just like that. You can tell my brush is wet. I just re-wet it. Just to make sure the acrylic is moving how I want it to move and it's not getting stuck to my brush. Drier brush means that the uh, acrylic will be stuck into it or get like mm, gummy in a sense. Something was on it. Get it off. All right. Ooh, she pretty. Do we need another bead? We do. All right. Uh. Okay. Clean it up. Clean it up. Ooh, she pretty. Another bead. Right there. I see it. Right there on the side. Uh-huh. Because you're going for not necessarily a, uh, what do you call it? Not a um, coffin look, but a squarer look. So that's why I'm kind of putting more acrylic on the sides. First bead, put it down. Tain the top, tain the top. Tain the top. Fix the hand, because the hands be not where you need them to be. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Bring it down, down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Yep. Those of you who watch my videos, I know y'all probably be thinking like when y'all practicing or whatever, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Also, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. I just want to say that. Drain it. Place it down. I did not drain that enough. I did not drain that enough. I did not drain that enough. Here you go. Run it down, run it down. You gonna see me. I'm chasing the bee because it's running so dang old much. And I done wasted so much product because I did not drain it. And I'm going to use it because I'm not into losing any of that stuff. Oh, my God. That was so trifling to me. But it is what it is. It fell. There's still some use into it. Pick it up. Pick it up. The same way you got the five-second rule when you pick up your food. Pick up that bead, baby. I mean, don't pick up every bead. Don't do that. But some of them beads you can pick up. And that's all I'm going to say. That's all I gotta say about that. Cause any period. See, pick it up. Pick it up. Ain't nothing too but to do it, baby. Just pick it up. As you can see, this beat was super runny because I didn't really get the drain it because it fell. It fell. But I make it do what it do, baby. Clean that thing up. Move it around. I needed to do still that cuticle. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Mm-hmm. Clean it up, clean it up. These nails are not super thick because I do encapsulate with clear. At least I think I encapsulate with clear. This video so long, it, it I better be encapsulating with some clear. 30 minute video. What the heck going on around here? So, yep. Yeah, we're going to put another bead down. Feather it up. Uh-huh. Pick it up, pick it up. Mm-hmm. We're going to use that. Yes, we is. Because what I said, most of our acrylic got lost in transition because it was so watery 
And as you can see, we reused the whole thing. And it just is what it is. And we need a whole nother bee at the... Yup. To what? Thicken it up? Maybe I didn't use no clear acrylic. Because these nails looking kind of thick, ain't they? Looking kind of on the thicker side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, moving the nail to the side to the side, making sure that it's giving what I need it to give before I move on to the next finger. Yep, put that bead down, pick it up, pick it up, put it on top, hold it. Sometimes you do gotta hold the acrylic in a, in a space so it, it can start to harden just a little bit, only so it doesn't run as much. That is also an option. As you can see, it's not running as much as I just let it sit there for a couple seconds. Only a couple seconds, you don't need no whole minute. That dang on acrylic gonna be hard as a rock, and I can still reuse it. It's just a little bit stiffer, but stiffer is okay. Stiffer is okay, I promise you. Okay, 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 bring it on down, bring it on down, clean it up, bring it down, clean it up, pat the sides, get some of that acrylic off the end. I don't think you're supposed to do that with your brush, but it just is what it is, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I got about mm, five more videos to edit and put voiceovers for. So, you guys are in luck. Y'all in luck. Y'all in luck. What'd I say? Tame it, tame it, tame it. Seal the cuticle. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Pick it up. With the brush so you can get more control over that bee. Uh-huh. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Mm -hmm. Make sure you twisting your nails to the side, even when you bring in the cute, uh, not the cuticle, even when you bring your beads down, just so you can see where you need the acrylic to be. You can uh, mold, you need to mold that nail. Mold it, pull it to the side, pull it to the side, make sure it's good. Thumb action. See, I had to readjust the camera. So y'all can get this thumb, even though the acrylic was acting funny. You see what I'm saying? But I still did that for y'all. I had did that for y'all for real. I just wanted to let y'all know I did that for y'all so y'all can get this thumb. Even though I don't feel like you need all five fingers, but here we are. So yeah, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. If I left the encapsulation process in this, I'm only going to do a voiceover for one of the nails. And then I'm going to let y'all just watch the rest. So tame the top, tame the top, tame the top. Mm-hmm. Tame the top, tame the top. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Yep, just like that. And since the nail is not straight up, I gotta keep catching it on the side watch. See that? I'm catching it because it's it's falling off on that side. So I gotta keep catching it. Yes, ma'am. Recycle it. Uh-huh. Yep, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Yep, just like that. Uh-huh. Ooh-wee. I'm sorry if y'all just heard my air conditioning click back on. Keep the shape, keep the shape. Pat the nail, pat the nail. Yes, ma'am. Not, I didn't sit up here and talk for 20 minutes. Oh, Lord. All right, now. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Push it up and seal that mug. Seal it up, seal it up, seal it up. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Get them sides, get them sides. Make sure your sides ain't got no clear stuff on the side. Mm-hmm. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. You see how it got a little sticky at the end? It's because my brush is a little drier. Get something in there, get it out, get it out. It's a, it's a, it's a little rock. There you go. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Clean it up. What I tell you, if you use the body of your brush, it has more pressure. So you can actually move the acrylic exactly how you want it to be. So be mindful of that when using the tip. You're just regularly doing it. Now. When you start using the body of that brush, that's because you're trying to mold it. And the acrylic has hardened a little bit. Because if you use the body of your brush when you um doing other things, it just get hard. You know what I'm saying? It made everything hard. So right now, we re we reshaping the nails. I ain't even got to talk to no encapsulation. I'm going to say, 
Mm. I either I didn't encapsulate them or I didn't keep it in. Anyways, let's continue on. Right now, I'm using my 100, not my 100, my 8080 grit file, and I am making sure I put a lot of pressure on the sides of the nail, only so I can taper it in and keep my shape. Okay? A lot of pressure on the sides of the nail so I can taper it in and keep my shape. I also focus mainly on where the tip and the natural nail meet because that tends to expand when you're um, putting acrylic on the nail. So, yeah. We're going to go across. We're going to go across. Sorry, my head in the way. My head in the way. My apologies. But we're going to keep going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That look good. That look good, baby. That look real good. Like I said, we, we put a lot of focus on where the tip and the natural nail meets. Let's see. Watch. See? We go up in there. And we go across there. Most of the pressure is at the top. We shape the sides. And now we go inside. Like I said, most of the pressure on the sides of the nail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Get some of that dust off the sides. Some of the crusties off the side. I don't know what we're talking about. It could be anything, y'all. Because, yeah, my conversation is crazy. Especially doing nail sessions. Crazy. There you go. Go across the top. Go across the top. You can tell this is an older video because I'm not using a hand file to um, even out the, the surface of the nail. Because I told you guys I've been practicing. Sometimes I'm, you know, in the mood. Sometimes I'm not in the mood. At this moment, I wasn't in the mood. And this is an older video. But now, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm not about to be using this hand file. So, yeah. Go in, girl. Hit them sides. Hit them corners. Get all them nips and dips out of the nail. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right there. Get it in. And cause I didn't, as you can see, I'm not really doing a lot of shaping. What I'm doing is making sure the nail is tapered into the finger. That's what I do a lot of. I don't really have to do a lot of shaping because my uh my um application process is usually pretty spot on in t in terms of just making sure everything's good. Here we go. I left the e filling process up in here for y'all. Okay, go across it. Go across it. This is me knocking out some of those um lines from using a hand file so yeah when i go across the nail using this drill bit knock out some of them lines knock out some lines because i don't buff go around go around seal it seal it seal it yep just like that Ooh, just like that make that thing flush yes ma'am go across go across Get up in there, get up in there. Uh, this is one of the videos that didn't have like the best lighting, so I do apologize. I see how dark it is on the side of their shadows, but you guys can still see. Mm -hmm. I know you can, cause I can. Y'all can see, cause I can see. But I do. I still apologize because at this, at this moment, I was still working on getting more lighting. So yeah. But we back in action now. We good now, baby. Go across. Go across. Mhm. Mm Yes, ma'am. Sell them cuticles in. My head in the way. I'm sorry. My bad. Don't. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't. This is, like I said, knocking out some of them dang on scratches. Don't, 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 don't. I'm sorry, I'm making a noise. My bad. Go around, go around. Get it good, get it tight. Yes, ma'am. Okay, also, I watched uh, someone else's nail video. I can't even think of her name. But um, she wipes her client's nails off with alcohol before she reshapes. And, um, I mean, after she reshapes. Is it after or before? I think it's before she reshapes because... If you have even the slightest bit of monomer on your client's cuticle, you see how white it is around the cuticle? That's because the um, the dust is sticking to it. It's sticking to the, the monomer. So, yeah. 
if you just see you see it's still stuck on there if you wipe them off prior to that you won't have to worry about that all right so we gotta top coat them first since we're doing the uh the french with the um with the glitter so you gotta top coat them first and what top coat i'm using if you know if you true then you already know what it is it's that beatles top coat baby and i just ordered two more i did because it's time to re-up so top coat the nails top coat the nails yes ma'am I should have clipped her cuticles off. Lord, some things look bad. With that nail, I'm doing a whole glitter nail, I think. So I don't know why I didn't keep it on there, but. Mm hmm. Top coat them. I don't know why I wiped it off. Yes, I put my fingers down the sides of the nails. Yes, I do. Put it inside, baby. All right, let's get started. French tip. I'm using a, a liner brush that I got from Beatles. Yep, a liner brush I got from Beatles. Sorry, my head is in the way. I got... I'm doing my uh, smile line, though. Y'all know how to do the smile line. You come from one side, hit that thing. You come from the other side, hit that thing. And you do a swoop. So, yep. And I'm going in with the brush and coloring it in. Coloring in the lines. Coloring in the lines. Uh, That color is from a Beatles kit that one of my friends sent me from Amazon. I was like, oh, my God. Not you thinking about me. I appreciate you, babes. So yeah, what I'm doing right now really don't even matter because we're putting glitter on top of this. So I don't even know why I'm being so <sighs> anal right now because we're just putting glitter on it. So here I am. Here I thought I was going to be able to do it like that. I was going to be able to do it and keep it in the top. I don't know what made me think that because that, that is not the case. That is not the case, crazy man. There we go. We need something bigger. The glitter I got from Amazon. It's a pretty glitter. It is like if you use it on um with inside some acrylic, it's not this opaque, which is why I put a um a background down. This whole nail is gonna be glittered. Mm-hmm. And also, this color is not opaque either. The gel polish color. Is, it's a jelly color. So, yeah. Which is why I look so good under this white. Mm-hmm. You put a line, you go from one side to the other side. Sorry, my head was in the way for the pinky, but it's not in the way no more. It is not in the way no more. There you go. Top all the way down. Round it out. Round it out. Thin it out. Mm. It won't good enough for me. Color in the lines. Color in the lines. We're going to come back to that nail. Cause we want our French to look like a dog on French. Ooh, we just took that one out. Cute. There we go. We want it to look like a French. Yep. Thin it out some, baby. A little nippy nip right there. You see that? There we go. I'm like, it's a nip right there, baby. Want to get that? Mm hmm. There, like I said, thin it out. There we go. Color it in. Uh huh. 
Get that in, get that in, and get that in. There we go. Gel polish does run, y'all. Just be mindful of that. That shit runs, okay? Be very mindful of using gel polish because it runs. Now let's go ahead and top these suckers with this glitter. And I didn't have to do uh, multiple coats because, like I said, um, we used the background color. So none of that really matters. So top it off, top it off. Top that whole thing off. Yep, yep, yep. Make it pretty. Yep. Top it off, top it off, top it off. Yes, ma'am. And when you're doing this, you gotta dry it even though it looks messy. And then you brush it off just like this. Just brush it off. Yep. Here you go. Brush it off. So we're stuck somewhere where it need to be. Brush it off. Brush it off. There we go. Brush it off. Brush it off. Uh huh. Ooh, she's cute. She's real cute. Um, so we're gonna add on a uh a heart. One of them little um fluffy hearts. I'm gonna add that on. That's so cute. Yep, there go the magnet. We're gonna make sure they in the same. Yep, just like that. Mm-hmm. Put it in. Boom. And we're done. Oh, we still gotta do the thumbs. Jesus Christ. Um, so the thumbs you do the same way that you do the other fingers. I just wanna tell you guys I really appreciate you watching my videos, commenting, liking my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think we're at 390 subscribers now. 390 subscribers. You feel me? Anyways, uh, thank you so much once again. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate all that. I appreciate all that. I really do. Um, don't feel free to DM me in my inbox if you need any advice. I'm a small YouTuber right now, so I can actually answer your questions if you have any. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um add in the finishing product at the end of this uh nail video or whatever so yeah thank you guys once again for watching i don't add any jewels just that one little um heart and that's it so bye enjoy the music